Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can retrieve data from database and show it to JTable control using Eclipse ID. So let's start the video. I have started my Eclipse ID. Now I am going to create one project in it. So file new Java project and I am giving name to this project as JTable demo and then I am clicking on finish button and here select don't create my project has been created now I am going to create one JFrame into it so select SRC and then from visual classes select swing JFrame I am providing name to this JFrame as show table and let me click on finish button okay so my frame has been added I am just going to my design part Okay, first of all, I'm going to change layout of this content pane. I'm going to give absolute layout. And now I'm going to take one button. And let me change name of this button. BTN show. And now I'm going to change text also. And change font also. So I'll just increase size of my frame. Okay, now I'm taking table control. Just select it and drag like this. Okay, now I want to add scroll pane to this table because I may have lots of data in my table. So, uh, in this size, the data will not be accommodated. So, I'm going to add scroll pane so that scroll bar gets added whenever I'm having large data. So, just right click over here and select option surround with and here you can take scroll pane. Okay, my design is ready now. I am going to write code for connecting to database and fetching data from table and showing it to JTable control. But before that, I need to add connector.jar file because I need JDBC coding. For that, we need connector file. So for that, what you have to do, just right click on JRE and then go to build path and configure build path. And then here you select module path and click on add external jar file. So before this, you need to install this MySQL connector.jar file. I have already created separate video for this. You can click on info button and just watch it. So I'm selecting this jar file and just click on open. You can see now my jar file has been added and now click on apply and close. You can see here my jar file has been added. Okay, I'm thinking to add one more button to clear this J table control. So let me take button. Now I'm going to open my SQL and I'm going to show my already existing table and data and the same data I'm going to fetch and show to this J table control. So let me open MySQL command line. You can use MySQL workbench also. So MySQL command line. Okay, MySQL has been started. Now I am going to change my database. So I am writing use and my database name. In this database, I am having one table known as student. So I am just going to show you data of that student. So select star from student. You can see this is what data in my student table. If you are not having database, not having table, you can certainly create database, create table and you can insert record into that table. So here is my table having three column, roll number, name, marks, same column and same data. I'm going to fetch and show it to my J table. So now let me go to Eclipse and start the coding. Now I'm going to fire action event of this display data so first of all i'm going to load driver so for that i'm going to write class dot for name and inside double quotes i'm going to write package name and driver name of mysql so com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc this is package name and then we are having class name as driver if you don't remember this package name and class name certainly you can go to mysql connector and here you can find the package name and inside that we have the class driver okay so now it is showing me error so i need to surround it with try catch block so just click on that option now let's establish the connectivity so for that i'm going to write connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection 
and here i'm going to pass three parameter the first parameter is going to be my mysql detail so here i'm going to pass uh, jdbc colon mysql colon double slash local host and colon 3306 that is the port number and my database name so this is the first parameter second parameter i'm going to pass username so root user and third parameter i'm going to pass my password of mysql so this is done so it is showing error i need to import package here various option it is showing but i need to select connection java.sql now it is showing error over here because i have not surrounded it with try catch block you can add exception to existing clause or you can surround with try catch block also okay so driver is loaded connection is established now i'm going to create object of statement class because i need to fire query statement st is equal to con dot create statement and then i am going to create one string variable string query is equal to i am going to write my command here select star from student that is my table name so my command is done now i am going to execute this command so for that i am going to write st dot execute query and in that i am going to pass my query variable now this execute query returns value of type result set so here i am going to create result set variable and i need to import this result set so java.sql my query has been executed i am going to create one more variable result set metadata which contains information about my result set that is how many columns are there uh, what are the column name everything i can get from result set metadata rsmd is equal to rs dot get metadata okay so now i'm going to create one variable of default table model using that variable i can add columns to my j table i can add rows to my j table at runtime if you want to add rows or column during design time you can see here we have a property of j table that is model property so let me select table and there is a property model and you can see here i'm having option for adding column as well as i'm having option for adding rows but i don't know how many rows are there in my table so how many columns are there in my table so i don't prefer this option i'm going to fetch everything through coding so let's do not add any rows and any column during design time so we'll go to source code again and then here i'm going to create object of default table model so default table model let me give name as model is equal to my table name that is what tbl data dot get model okay so it's showing me error i need to type cast it so just select this option add cast to default table model so now whatever i want to do on table i'm going to do by using this model variable so now next part i'm going to fetch my column name before that i'm going to find out how many columns are there so i'm creating one variable int calls is equal to rsmd dot get column count so it will give me how many columns are there in my table now i'm going to create one string array and that is going to be column name is equal to new string you can create vector also i'm taking array so this is done now here i'll run one for loop int i is equal to 0 because this is my array so i need to start from 0 i less than calls and then i plus plus and here i am going to read my data and i am going to store in my call name array so call name at i is equal to rsmd dot get column name so here is a method get column name which is taking a parameter column number so my column number starts from 1 not from 0 and my variable i is starting from 0 so i'll just do what i'll add 1 to it so i will get my column 1 2 3 and so on whatever columns we are having in call name variable write model dot set column identifiers and here you can see you can pass array as well as vector so i'm taking array method and here you can see my column name has been set 
Now I'll just run this program and check it out whether I'm getting column in my J table or not. So let me execute this program. Okay, so I'll click on this display data. You can see it is showing me roll number, name and marks column. And in my table also, I had roll number, name and marks column. So whatever columns you are having in your table, same column will be read over here and it will be displayed. Now next, I will be reading my data from my table and I will be adding to my J table control. So for that, I'm going to run one while loop. So while rs dot next until I have record, I'm going to do what? I'm going to read it and I'm going to show it to my J table control. So now I'm going to create few variable of type string and in that I'm going to store my data. So string number, comma name, comma marks are my variables. I'm going to read my first column. So no is equal to rs dot get string and here I'm going to pass my column number which starts from 1. So this will read value of first row and first column and see here uh, my roll number is of type integer but I'm using string because I just want to show it to my J table control so no need to typecast if you want you can. Next I'm going to read my name so name is equal to rs dot get string and here you pass the second column and similarly you can do it for marks column. So rs.getString3, I'll change my variable name. So I've read my all the data. Now I'm going to create one string array. So string row is equal to number comma name and comma marks. So I have created an string array and in that I'm storing all this detail and after that I'm going to use a method add row model dot add row and here I can pass my array variable. So I'm just passing my array variable and let me put the semicolon. So this code is going to read all your rows one by one and it is going to add to your table control. Everything is done. Now I'm going to close my statement as well as I'm going to close my con. Okay, now we'll rerun this program. So click on this button. Okay, I'll minimize everything and let me show you proper output. So here is my display data. You can see it is showing me my all the records which were there in my table. Also, you can see it has added the scroll bar because this is not able to show me my full record. So you can see my all record has been read. Okay, so now what is left clear button. So let's complete that code also. Okay, so now I am going to fire event of this clear button and here I am going to write line for clearing my J table control. So my J table control name is TBL data dot set model. And in that I'm going to pass new default table model and in that I'm not going to pass anything. And since I'm not passing any values to this default table model, no rows and no columns. So it is not going to show anything to your table. So let's rerun and see it whether it's doing or not. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this display data. So it's showing me records and I'll click on this clear button. So it is resetting my table control. Okay, my both codes are working. I have tried to write very simple code. I have tried to explain all the concept related to this. So that's conclude my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, be sure to give like to this video. Also, you can comment in comment box if you have any type of query. I will surely reply to your queries. And most valuable, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to support me and my channel. Thank you friends for watching my video till end. See you in my next video. Till that, bye-bye and take care.